Hello everyone. In this video, I'll show you how to make a dual motor driver using the L293DIC. We'll start by building the circuit step by step on a breadboard, and then move it onto a Vero board for a more permanent, practical setup. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified of my latest projects. L293D Motor Driver IC a widely used dual H-bridge driver that can control two DC motors or a stepper motor. It supports up to 600 mA per channel, with motor voltages up to 36 volt. It features built-in protection diodes and separate power pins for logic and motor, making it ideal for robotics and automation. Whether you're building a basic bot or a complex vehicle, L293D is a great choice for beginners and hobbyists alike. Let's start the circuit on the breadboard. Place the L293DIC on the breadboard and connect pins 4, 5, 12, and 13 to the ground rail. Next, connect pin 1 enable A and pin 9 enable B to the 5 volt rail to activate both motor channels at full speed. Connect pin 16 to 5 volt as it's the logic supply for the IC. Now, I'm adding a voltage regulator to supply 5 volt power to the IC and breadboard. Connect the regulator's pin 1 to pin 8 of L293D. This is the motor supply pin. Pin 3 of the regulator goes to the breadboard's 5 volt rail, and pin 2 connects to ground. To indicate power, I'm adding an LED with a 220 ohm resistor between the 5 volt and ground rails. Now, connect motor A to pins 3 and 6, and motor B to pins 11 and 14 of the IC. For power, I'm using a 2S LiPo battery. Connect the battery's positive terminal to pin 1 of the regulator, and the negative terminal to the ground rail. If the LED lights up, your system is working correctly. To control motor A, apply high and low logic to pins 2 and 7. Switching these values will reverse the motor's direction. Similarly, control motor B using pins 10 and 15 a one high, the other low to run the motor, and reverse to change direction. Now I'll transfer the same circuit to a Vero board for practical use. I've connected both motors and added an XT60 connector for power. Just like before, Connect the PWM pins to 5 volt to activate the driver, similar to how the L298N worked. Then connect jumper wires to IN1 and IN2 to control motor A. And IN3 and IN4 for motor B. Provide high and low signals accordingly to run and reverse the motors. Now let's test the motor driver with a four-wheel robot car controlled via smartphone. As you can see, it's working perfectly. If you want to build this car, check out the dedicated video on my channel. Thanks for watching the full video.